Hey everyone, welcome back to Thrifted Thursday. I know it's been a minute. Thank you all for being so patient. Um, on Thrifted Thursday, I show you items that I've thrifted, what I'm keeping to upcycle, what will be listed on the website to resell. And then, um, yeah, I list everything five minutes prior to the, um, the video going live. So head over there now, see what is just listed and check out. Don't just leave it in your car, check it out so nobody else snags your items. I went thrifting with Brie from Upcycled by Brie. Um, we met up to do some planning for the For the Love of Junk weekend. Y'all, every time I think of this weekend, first I get super excited, but I'm like, how is it already gonna be September? Literally. We are in the middle of August and it blows my mind. And I'm like, this came on like way faster than I could have imagined. And for those of you that don't know what For the Love of Junk Weekend is, uh, Brie and I are hosting here in Kansas the weekend of September 15th, this amazing event. We are going to hop on a party bus. We are going to go thrifting. And the people that are coming, they're gonna have a challenge. We're gonna give you all $15 and we're gonna have an hour to shop. We, I think we're gonna go to two thrift stores and you have to search for two items that you want to upcycle. We're then gonna head over to Lewisburg Market Street where I have my booth. You guys can do some shopping there. We are gonna cater in some Kansas City barbecue and we are going to upcycle. Brie and I are gonna teach you some things. We are going to, it's literally gonna be a blast. Friday, we're gonna do a meet and greet. After we're done crafting, we're gonna go have dinner. And then on Sunday, for those of you that are like waiting for flights and things like that, or even if you drove here and you just wanna hang out, then we're gonna hang out at my house in the backyard and you know, just chill and laugh. It's gonna be so much fun. Tickets are still on sale. However, there are not many left. So head over to Bree's website, upcyclebybree.com and get your ticket today. Okay, you guys, I am definitely in a different spot because <laughs> our garage is a disaster again. So I brought my stuff in this time and I thought, you know what, let's get like cozy and casual. I got my sweater on that I made. It says you are enough. So y'all remember that. I also have a box up here I'll have to grab, but we'll start with this. So um, it's quite, quite, I guess big. I grabbed this shelf. We went to, we went to Salvation Army. We went to Savers and we went to Turnstiles. Um, and Turnstiles, I believe the, the orange tag was $1.24 or something. Cause they do on Mondays, they'll have their new ticket colors, 50% off. And then the ticket color from the previous week it used to be 99 cents. They bumped it up to like $1.24, a really random price. But this was $1.24 and y'all know if it has the details, your girl is going to buy it. This reminds me of the trimming stamps from IOD. This screams IOD. I think um, what it just needs is a new paint job. I know some people would probably buy it like this. Um, but I, I want to give it a, a paint job for sure. So that was a dollar 24. Um, kind of looking at it. I'm like, how would that even realistically hang on those? Do you see that? I'm like, that would not, I feel like hold any weight on this thing. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, I just saw that because I was like, oh, I want to hang that in my booth. But then I'm like, that does not look like it would hang very well. Um, is this, did I? I thrifted this. Don't have a price on it, but y'all love baskets. Every time that I find the wired baskets or the egg baskets, y'all scoop them up. I don't know where this came from. I don't know, but there's that. Um, I'm also going to list this. These are just random things I was going to use for dupe videos. And then like, I haven't done it yet. So I'm like, let's list it. This was made in India. It's a brass um, candle snuffer. Those are great too for holiday decor. And then 
Uh, you guys have seen this. This is one of those, you guys, I just started picking up stuff and I'm like, I had this to DIY it and I thrifted it a long time ago. Okay, so to the new thrift stuff. I found this for 50% off. And please tell me why Salvation Army fills the need to tag multiple times. Uh, if you saw Bree's recent thrifting video where we went together, there was literally like eight stickers on one thing. But anyways, this was $9.98. It's actually plastic and I plugged it in. It works. It's kind of loud though. I'll have to have my husband look at it. It says Spartus Corporation, Louisville, Mississippi, USA has the model number. Um, and my thought, because of these beautiful flat, I love the flowers in there. I want to paint this queen bee and then Bree suggested doing black wax over it to bring the black. Because I personally was not a fan of this. But Brie was like, I love it. And I think it would look good if you topped it with black wax to kind of tie that in. So I think that's what we're going to do to this. So look at that. So I got that for five bucks. And I feel like that would be a gorgeous... Um, fall piece to have out. I mean, it's going to be gorgeous all year and it's plastic, which is awesome. I got this at, initially, I got this. This was from Savers for $6.99 and it definitely needs to be like blown down. It has the glass piece like in the center for a candle or whatever. But at first I thought, I'll get this and put this in the booth and like hang it because we have those huge bolted pieces of wood that John did. But now that we've started doing Montgomery's room, I think that this would look super pretty hanging in the corner and get like a remote control LED candle and turn it on almost like as a nightlight. So I think I'm going to keep this. It, where was this from? Dillard's. Dillard's once upon a time, $39, then $23.40. So proof of purchase required for return. <laughs> I love seeing original tags. So I got $6.99 was not bad for that at all for the size of it. And that is where you guys, sometimes it confuses me how that could be $6.99 and then you'll see something else and it's crazy cheap, you know? Okay, so let's see what else we got. I found a mini oil lamp. This is $2.99. And this one, I actually do not have anything that looks like it. So I will probably keep this one. You guys know my collection that's just sitting down in the basement because I don't know where to put it. Uh, that is so cute. It's a little, hold on you guys, I'll show you. No, it's not wonky. Look at the base of this one. It's different. I don't have any bases that look like this. So very, very cute. It was $2.99. It was made in China, it says on the bottom. Huh, but so cute. I always have the best of luck finding oil lamps at Savers and they're not usually very pricey, which is weird. I found this just to throw in the booth because there's nothing wrong with it. It looks like it was Hobby Lobby at one point. It even has all of the new stuff on here and it was $4.99 and it looks like you just tuck like a picture up in there. So I'm like, even if I just put $10.95 on here, it's still way cheaper. Or no, this was Michael's, Michael's at one time. So I got that for the booth. Now to just tag things and put them, what was this? I don't know what was in there. Oh, it was, Montgomery, she was not having it when we were thrifting, like at all not having it. Um, I think she was just like overstimulated. So I ended up like at one point I was desperate and I like grabbed a bag of stuffed animals and there was like this cute trick or treat uh, Tigger and this, this little bumblebee bear. And then there was another little bumblebee bear that was super cute. So that actually kept her entertained the rest of the trip. I found these for $2.99. You guys tell me what they are. Let's see. I feel like they're almost um, 
pill pill containers, you know? I don't I don't know. Oh no, they're for incense. You see the little brass? Because I see it looks like somebody was burning incense in them. So I will mm, I'll try scraping that out as much as I can. But it looks like it was an incense burner. I think that's what Bree said too. There's nothing on the bottom. And then there's this one. See, but this one has, um, so that's what this one looks like. But it doesn't look like it actually sits on there, which is kind of weird. But it almost looks like somebody burned it, like those incense cones, like one on here and something in there. What? You guys think those went together? I mean, they look like they could, but it's not sitting or maybe like that. I don't know, but I just loved them because they were brass. And to be honest, I thought they were like little pill containers. So I got those, let's put that in the basket. I found this bird and I got this for the booth. It was $3.49, which actually isn't that bad for this size of a bird. Um, it, it's like plasticky, but three forty nine, and the colors for fall were like spot on. So I grabbed it just to add pops of color. I found this, which I felt like some of you would absolutely love. It looks like terracotta and like it was topped with like white and distressed back. You see that? And then the like woven basket look. All it says is it's imprinted made in China on it. Um, but it is so cute and there's no cracks in it. I love this really beautiful spout. I love the terracotta look. That That's what like pulled me in was that it looks like terracotta. So this will need a clean in y'all when you get it. Um, you'll probably want to give it a good bath. Um, but that would look pretty to actually use for its intended purposes or put greenery in. Um, so many options for that. We got juice from the kids. Okay. <laughs> so this I grabbed, I know random, right? It was $2.99 and I figured the little piece of greenery I could use in Montgomery's room. It's actually like a really nice little piece. It doesn't have a sticker. It was probably like Target dollar spot or something, but I was like, this is actually nice. I could use this in Montgomery's new decor, but the reason I bought it is for this. You guys, these dang doorknobs, it looks like somebody stuck some flowers in it, which that's basically what I want to do is put a Christmas tree in there. Um, but these dang doorknobs are pricey. I'm hoping when John and I go to the Sparks flea market again at the end of August that I can find more of these because at antique markets and things like that, these little things are pricey. So <laughs> this is why I grabbed it. And then I was like, the other piece is just a bonus. So I grabbed that. I know I have owl lovers in here. So I found, you guys know my mug obsession. Go to the mug collection. Head down there now. Please buy them, okay? So that I can justify buying them. It's literally, I told you guys, it's literally my, almost my favorite section. No, maybe it is my favorite section to shop because there's just so, so many of them. So I got this for $1.99 and it is so, he looks so sleepy. So maybe we need coffee, coffee in him for sure. There's no markings on where he came from, but it's um, a beautiful one and there's no like cracks or dings. I grabbed, I keep telling myself to stop buying stuff for DIYing you guys. But I couldn't help it. I found these like finial pieces and it was $3.99. And look at them. They're beautiful. 
we can, you guys, we can use these as toppers for pumpkins. And then we can, I mean, we could, I could build anything like out of a four by four with these and then top them with these. Um, and what's nice is they already have the screws on them. So I just need to drill a hole, turn these in and let's make some magic with those babies. $3.99 y'all. Okay. That is mine to keep. Let's see if my pile to keep is bigger than my pile to sell, okay? Okay. Let me see you back. what's in here. It's wrapped. Oh, okay, so this is turnstiles. Turnstiles, I usually find more vintage items. Um, it's definitely, I wanna, not like an older community, but um, donation wise, I don't know, I don't know, but I found this piece and I'm actually gonna look it up because I feel like I've found one before and this signature um, was somebody's, but it is this beautiful little vase. And are these actually called vases or are the smaller ones called something else? And I don't know, I'm assuming, I don't know if it's hand painted or a print. It's not like it's a little bit raised, but not a lot. And it says, I want to say alley right there. And then it has like a little bit of the trim of like that tan. And this was $1.99. So I think this was the 50% off. So I think I paid a dollar for it. I think we'll put that right there. Okay. Brie talked me into these because she knows that you guys buy my mugs. She's like, I can never sell mugs. That's so crazy that you can sell them. I go, because I remind everybody to go buy one. Um, but I love pottery. And I think y'all are crazy because you never buy the pottery that I scoop up. And I think pottery is the most beautiful kind of decor piece you could have because it was handmade. Like there will never be an exact duplicate to that piece of pottery, like the signed pottery. Those pieces just like always blow my mind that somebody made this by hand. I will never find in another exact one of those. So check out the pottery in my collection, you guys. Um, but we both, oh man, I didn't, is that part of the design? Looks like there's like silver Sharpie. I'll try and get it off. But I saw these and I passed them by because I was like, it's really weird that one mug is bigger than the other mug. And then Brie came and she's like, I can't believe you didn't get those and put them in your cart. And I was like, well, I was unsure of them because one's big and one's small. And she's like, I think one is for coffee and one is for tea. And I was like, well, that, that would make sense. They both were $2.99. The, our garage door is connected to this basement and our laundry is out there. So the door opens and closes, open and closes. And uh, the flies are intense down here. So this is what this image looks like. See where that, I'm gonna try and get that off. If I don't, I'll note that in the listing. I look, look at the two-tone of the handle. And then the speckles, there's no kind of marking on these, but they're definitely like a stoneware um, type. Let's see. And then this one, I just want you guys to get like the full, oh, come on, man. Stop putting stickers over the images. Okay, we'll, we'll work on this one. But this one, the image is just in the front. It does not wrap around and there's no two-tone to the handle. This one also does not have a marking and you can see they're different images. So $249 and $299. And then I'm gonna sell these as a set because I feel like Brie is right and they're supposed to be like a coffee, like tea, or those would just be beautiful on this display. Oh my gosh, what else? What is this? Oh. Somebody please buy this so we can prove Brie <laughs> wrong. When Brie and I first started thrifting together, you guys, I, I was guilty. 
of buying the heart like 90s decor stuff. I loved that stuff and I would buy it. And Brie was like, girl, stop buying that stuff. It's not going to sell. It didn't sell. Well, whenever you see that like spongy, you know, blue stuff on bowls and it usually has the little heart and stuff, uh, it screams 90s. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, okay, it looks 90s. And I even asked Brie, I said, what do you think? Do you think this is too 90s? Or because it has the pig, it will resonate with somebody to get it and they won't think 90s decor. She thought it's going to be 90s decor. I took a chance on it. It was regular price $4.99. But I feel like somebody that loves them some piggies maybe country decor, has a country kitchen, will love this. It's in perfect condition. That's what the back looks like. And the picky and everything is like, there's no fading. There's little hearts in the grass. So I took a chance on it. Y'all prove her wrong and somebody go buy it right now. Okay, so I can take a picture of that cell and send it on to you. <laughs> okay, what? Oh, I all you guys, I think almost all of the corbels that I find while thrifting are at turnstiles, and I usually find them so cheap. So I want to here's this one. It was $7.99, and you guys, it was orange ticket, so it was a dollar twenty-four. I, I don't know why, but I always like them like this. I don't know why I just don't envision them this way um probably because I love books and I see them on like using as a bookshelf anyways um Brie just upcycled some little corbel pieces on her last DIY video and I want to replicate that I don't know if it's going to be on this one I do have a couple like sets that go together that I might try but she used milk paint, sweet pickings, uh, crackle media. I mean, she used a bunch of different layers and it turned out beautiful. Um, I have a wood one that's on my website right now that nobody has bought. And I told y'all, I told y'all, you guys do not buy like raw wood things. Like I always post them just to see if somebody will love, you know, them as is, but Y'all don't buy the wood stuff. So we are probably going to paint that one too. But $1.24. I have so many of them, you guys. <laughs> one day, y'all. One day, I said, when all my kids are in school and I can work eight hours a day, the possibilities, I'm going to blow y'all's minds when I have eight hours to craft in a day while my kids are in school. Y'all aren't going to know what hit you. Okay, if I, I always tell myself, if I can achieve this much in an hour and a half a day while the baby's sleeping, what can I achieve when all my kids are in school and I have eight hours? Okay, look at how pretty this teapot is. Uh -huh. Do you see this? Oh my gosh, this is actually a Teleflora gift. Um, and I was obsessed not even with the florals on it but the the ribbed pattern it actually looks like a woven basket that's what it looks like and i could not see any chips on it and you know what let me peel this tape back i just want to make sure that the um the tape that they use is horrible here nope it did not peel back any of the paint on those beautiful florals. And I know some of you collect teapots. Um, let's make sure nothing's cracked in here. Oh, this is, this is a good one where the lid doesn't come off. You have to find that. Yep, there we go. Yep, it's perfect. No cracks or anything. And this one, I think you guys was $1.24 as well. It was $5.99 orange tag. You guys, I can't remember if it was orange tag or the, the pink one. No, I think pink 
was the dollar and I think orange was 50 off. I'll have to ask Brie, but it's gorgeous. It's so different. It's so like feminine looking and cottagey. Ooh, yes, ma'am. Okay, let's, you guys, it's gonna take me forever to list this stuff. What's, it's like, it's like thrifting all over again because this has been sitting since like last, I don't know, Monday. Yeah, Monday. Uh, this was $4.99 pay for I didn't pay you guys I'm all over the place now I don't know what is what because there's no way I paid $4.99 for it it was a yellow tag so we have a lot of we're gonna figure this out anyways I got this because you guys know I have an obsession I mean but look I do stuff with them see that I do stuff with them did you guys like that one isn't that pretty I just really wish I would have found green foam and not white foam. Do you think that'll deter anybody from buying? Okay. What's this for? This is a big, so this was for the booth, but let's, I mean, I could try, I, I'll list it. And if nobody buys it after tonight, I'm going to bring it to my booth this weekend. Um, I don't know what's, is it in there? So I found this, this is a signature home collection. Hello fall. Hello fall. I thought this was so much fun. So much fun. I envision this with um, like a skinnier sprig of like yellow florals. Do you guys, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Like the branchy looking like flowers, kind of whimsical. Um, this would even look really pretty with um, some vine greenery coming out of it. But I think I saw one chip. Where were you? I think it wasn't right there. It's not right there. It's not right there. I think it was right. Oh, I think it's right here. But it's weird because so it's right there it's that little little piece but you really can't notice it because the tips are like white on a lot of the leaves I think that was the only part and like look it like wraps around and there's another leaf and then the branch or like the stem of the pumpkin is like twisted I thought this was so cool and I was like, this would be a good piece to put in the booth, but I will list it. And it looks like this was $6.99. Again, I'm confused now as to what was 50, what was a dollar. So, okay, that's that box. Let me go grab, oh, I'm gonna show you this too. I'm just gonna do all of this together because I'm hoping you guys will buy it and then get it out of my craft room. So buy it, you guys. So went to the booth on uh, to pick up paint on Friday and I ran to this booth and they had, this was the one that was going out of, I don't want to say going out of business, but they were closing their booth space. These were a dollar each and they are vintage aprons. You guys, these are so so beautiful and so cute. If you have like a family member that loves to bake or cook, um, I would wear these um, like as a crafter as well, especially with the pockets. So I found this one and that's the print on it. So, so pretty. And then I found, and I checked in, them for stains and for the most part, as far as I know, they don't have stains. So here is this one. Gosh, this beautiful cream. People, you guys, people were so fancy. Like people don't like wear this cute stuff around the kitchen when like cooking anymore, you know? Like, oh, so here's this one. And then that one. Isn't that so pretty? And I I don't think there's like not one stain on this cream colored apron. 
so beautiful. So I snatched that up, snatched, snagged. I found this one. I should keep one of these for myself. These would even be fun to have at the, um, what do you call it? The For the Love of Junk weekend for people to wear while they're crafting. This one, what does this say? Sorry. Oh my gosh, it still has, you guys, the original. Do you see that? The original little tag on it. Eight of eight, six, ten, do Thursday. Uh, so I wonder if this was hand. It, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Do Thursday six. Alan for many. Alan was the name of who this was going to. That is so cool to have the original tag. That stuff makes me stoked. And this one also has the little side pocket. And then you could see like the stitching like in the middle right there. You guys, that is so cool. This is what's fun about like thrifting, antiquing and things like that. Like that are just that little original like tag, I think is just so cool. And knowing that like it was going to Minnie or maybe Minnie is the one that made it. I don't know. This one I love because it, oh, it looks handmade. I'm sure all of these were handmade. And it has the little rag attached to it and then this rag that's supposed to look like ruffles and then this blue and green oh my gosh now this one does look no is it my lighting i think it's my lighting i was gonna say it looks a little yellowish in the middle but i think it's my lighting is it or is it stained no, I think the color itself is like a cream color, but this was definitely well loved. Like you can see the like fabric itself is kind of faded, but is that not so fun? And then you guys, if you have a teacher in your life, if you are a teacher and you have somebody that is quirky, like this is for a quirky, fun teacher. I see one little stain so far. Um, look at this oh my word and it has pockets look at that ah! look at the pockets and everything like could you not see a cute new yeah oh, the teachers are so young these days you guys it's crazy um but that i i was like oh my gosh there is some quirky like cute fun teacher that would like love to wear this I think there are like a little stains you guys there's like I don't know if you can see like the dots and then I saw one little kind of oh yellowish stain right I don't even know it's hardly noticeable so this one is definitely not perfect by any means but this is going to be a long one, you guys. More so because I'm just like chatting and hanging out with you. Um, I found this milk glass from her booth as well. And I really liked it because on first seeing it, it actually looks like a popcorn. Doesn't that kind of look like a popcorn dish? Like an old Regal movie popcorn dish. But it's actually, it almost looks like, uh, like Grecian, Greek. Um, you can see that on the top and then that like urn in the middle so i thought it was a really pretty unique melt glass um she had other melt glass in there but it was very like generic and i see it time and time again at the thrift store this however i've never seen so i decided to grab that and for the most part you guys do buy the melt glass so I felt comfortable. Nobody bought the Pyrex milk glass with the blue florals on it. So I might be keeping that if nobody snags it up this round um, because it's beautiful. I was really shocked nobody bought that. Okay, this, I was eyeing the, when I did the live walkthrough, 
and it's this, I don't know what you would call this, a jar, an urn of some sort. Um, it has the most beautiful detailed work. And then on the side, it has these images as well. You could even see the work right there. It just needs to be cleaned out. And then on the, oh, and it has, I didn't even notice that. It has like a little gold rim. And on the bottom of it, it says porcelain blank, made in China, handcrafted in Macau, not for food use. Huh. It says like not for food use, can't read that, may poison the food, I think, for decorative purposes only. So be cautious. It. I wonder if it was actually how it says porcelain blank. I do wonder if somebody painted it themselves because you could kind of see the right here, like the glazing. Do you see the glaze like that kind of pinkish? You know how it looks like somebody like put it on and then like uh, fired it up. Like you could see like the imperfections of like the little bubbled paint. So I thought that was cool and it was still there. So I was like, we are going to give this baby a new home. What's this one? One last thing. Oh, more salt and pepper shakers. Cause you guys know I like them. These were beautiful. These are actually um, left in China, I believe it is. And they actually have the corks in them. And they are this beautiful floral has the one little, and then it has the gold rim and then the gold up top. These don't even look like they were ever used. So there is the matching set of those. Those are beautiful. Would those go with our little, oh my gosh, yes. I think I have two a you guys, make sure you're looking through the past pages in case you forgot something or maybe your decor's changed. I think I have a bowl that is in there. I say in there and where I keep everything. And I think they match these. I'm going to have to look at that. Okay. Let's keep all of our tissue paper so I can wrap your orders with them. And then let me grab this box over here. Sorry, my butt. Okay, hopefully the bottom of my feet aren't dirty. Okay, like I said, this is a long one, but I wanna get it out. I wanna get it out, I wanna get it up. Ow, foot cramp. Okay, I thought I was gonna like get this done quick and then like start filming. So. This says it was made in the Philippines and it is so pretty. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, whoever hand painted this, I think did a great job. It feels like it was terracotta for sure. Like that's what it feels like. It was $3.49 at Savers. And again, it was like a piece of pottery. I could not give it up. I was like, that is so, so beautiful. I have like a rose thing going on over here. I found this because you guys love birds or I thought I could even do something with it maybe for like a fall DIY. Not sure. It doesn't have a price tag on it though. What's right here? Oh, he gave this to me for 99 cents at the register because it did not have a, um, a price on it, but it is pure like cast iron. It looks like maybe a paperweight, how it has like the felt on the bottom. I'm not quite sure. I thought maybe it was a top. This thing's heavy. Like it's straightening my arm a little bit. And I thought that was just so cool. I don't know what it is. Let me know if you know. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this, I got this and I do not plan on doing anything with the color. It is so 
Look at that. This like screams IOD. The top has this beautiful bird on it. And then those details as well. It's actually really clean inside, which you never find. And like I said, like the bottom detail, the distressing, we don't need to paint it. It's, I think it's great the way it is. So that will be listed as well. That one says $5.98. That I think I paid regular price for this one, um, knowing that it was a bird and birds usually sell well for me. Um, I felt comfortable paying full price for it. Uh, let's see what else. Mugs. You guys buy the mugs. This one says you are... I need to clean this off though. You are my cup of tea. And I thought it was so cute. It says it on both sides. It was $1.98. It's from Strawberry Street. And on the top, it says half full or half empty. There's clearly room for more. So that's what it says right there. And like I said, the mugs, you guys, are great little things too. <laughs> that if you're like, um, shipping seems kind of weird add a mug and then it'll seem, it'll seem fine. Um, or like if you need something for a gift, something like that, or if you collect mugs, like I managed to, what are these? Salt and pepper shakers. Now this, I have, I think a couple pieces. It is the, um, Mikasa from Japan. And these had the original corks still in them the graphics are absolutely gorgeous you guys they are super clean and donna i know that you could coll you collect japan stuff but don't feel obligated at all i bought them because they were absolutely they're so beautiful look at that and those were um two dollars each and then i believe i bought some matching mugs maybe to it. I grabbed this amber glass. It was 98 cents. I just bought it for um, booth decor. It has something stamped on the bottom, but I can't read what it says. It's like in cursive. Dur Dura glass? I think that's what it says. D-U-R-A G-L-A-S. Huh. You see that? Like hand curse the cursive and then like whatever that is. Don't know what it was. Yeah. How weird. Um, but I just grabbed this just to put like little sprigs of floral and add it to the booth for fall decor. Okay. Let me see. Let me get some of this out. Is this the no, this is the Nora Taki. So I found quite a few mug sets. So these are going to be sold as sets, you guys. Um, I don't think I'm going to sell them as singles because, um, you guys, I got a lot of mugs. Please buy them. So I feel like these that I bought the set of need to stay like in a set for somebody because I feel like you would want all four of them. Or maybe it was on. How many did I buy? These were tan tags, so they were 50% off. So I got each of these Nora Taki ones for one dollar. Gosh, how many did I get? An odd amount. Maybe I'll sell them as a set of two. Because I got quite a bit, you guys. There are two, four, six, eight, nine. Random. Um, so I'll sell like one, one off. And then I can sell them maybe in sets of two for somebody that doesn't necessarily want four or eight of them. Or I wonder if I could sell them in a set of four. I don't know. But maybe I should show you the design on them first. They have the sunflower design on them. And then the brown rim, they are Noritake stoneware. These are in desert flower. And Noritake, 
does great. Um, it's sought after and I was shook that I found it for a dollar and that many of them. Um, but I loved them. So hopefully you guys love them too. I found this little, um, stoneware piece and it was a dollar 98. It doesn't look like it's meant to even have a lid. I thought it was so cute. I can see this with one of those, um, like scrubbers at the sink or something like that. Um, but I found that and then I found this little, it looks like it would be for like a succulent or something of that sort. It was a dollar and it says on the bottom that it's hand southern southern hand painted. Almost looks like Elish filled wear or something made in the USA. Um, it's like stamped on the bottom. So it's hand painted. There is a crack, like you can see it going kind of down in there and then it's right there. But what's weird is it's almost like it fired and that is like in, like you can't, I don't know, like you can't feel it, but you could see how like where the crack is, the color was different. So I just, of course it was hand done. So I bought it for those of you that love baseball or you have a significant other that does, or you are a baseball mom. Look at how awesome, look at how big this handle is, but this was so awesome. It looks vintage looking. I thought it was so cool. It's from DEI. We bring the fun. Um, yeah. I, 13 Willow Street. I thought this was so, like, it's even has, like, the ribs in here, you guys, for, like, your fingers. How awesome is that? And it's it's a four-finger mug. I thought that was so cool. Uh, it doesn't have a price tag on it, so I don't know how much I paid. But I thought that was really cool for you um, baseball-loving fans. So, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I enjoyed sharing it with you. Uh, you guys, ooh, guys know thrifting definitely brings me joy. I also want to say thank you to everybody that has shared kind words with me and my family. Um, while we're going through this right now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it is on Facebook and my YouTube community tab. I don't feel comfortable talking about it yet, but I do want to express our gratitude um, that we have you guys and I know that I could you know look forward to reading your comments and they're so positive and uplifting and it really does help me during this time so thank you guys so very much have fun shopping oh you guys and my pile is not that big I think I have to actually like DIY one two three four oh five and six so six things and the rest are going to be posted. Um, give me some grace here because you guys, I am literally going to do fast snap photos um, of these things. I just don't, I don't have it in me to like spend um, a lot of time down here right now. So um, I'm going to take like quick snap photos of them and put them on the website. So hopefully you guys enjoyed all of this and I cannot wait to share more with you the following week. Bye.